So besides we're doing some kind of running through some code here, we can also do some calculations. So I'm going to set up another function. And the way that I'm doing this is function and my function, I'm going to give it my function a. And we're also going to pick up an argument. So we're going to contain that argument in the value of a. And then within here is where we're going to make some magic happen. And we're going to simply maybe just return back a calculation. Uh, so we're going to take whatever A is and we're going to add in whatever B is and just simply return back that value. So every time we call over to my function A and if we pass an argument there, we're going to get some kind of value returned back. And again, in order to see this value, we're going to use our console log. So this gives us the ability to see this output. Uh, so now we can literally have multiple of these function A's and give it some different results there. Maybe not keep them all with five at the end. So have some variation there. So we'll see that every time we call over to these functions, we should get back a different calculation happening. So let's take a look and see what happens. So when we see that the last recorded value of, uh, of B is six. So now what we're doing is we're passing over a value of five and we're passing it into the function and the function itself is adding a plus b and then essentially returning back that calculated value which would be 11 and then so on for 64, 38 and 39. So let's take this one step further and maybe pass over another value. So maybe we're going to use c. This time we're going to be expecting two arguments and we're going to multiply a times c and return back that value. Then down here, we need to add in a second argument. So now I'm going to add in some additional values there that we can pick up and use. Save that, refresh, and we see that now we get these calculated values that are being output. And this goes to show there's quite a lot of functionality when it comes to functions that we can return back these values. We can make a whole bunch of calculations. So we could do quite a lot more here where we could do something like variable d equals a plus c plus b and then return back d and we can also do b equals or just maybe increment b every time that function is called. So we have something, a whole bunch of different things happening here, calculations happening, running some code within the function, and as well we're returning brand new values that we can utilize in the rest of our JavaScript. So and there's quite a lot we can do and even going back to when we were looking at our objects, uh, again we could do so much, so many different things when we set up objects uh, so I'm going to set up a quick object here. So variable my my object, and I'm going to put in some contents of it. So first name, and then uh, do another one there. So last name. So this is a person with a first name of one, last name of two. So this is just a quick object that I've created in order to illustrate that what we can do with objects is we can actually, or with functions and objects, we can update and we can add to those objects. So if we have our original uh, function of, so now we can call over to uh, the function, so I'll create a brand new function and maybe I'll just give it a name of f or something like that and we're going to pass over a value of g and so now we've got a function called f, we're, pat we're containing that value as g and then within g we're going to update and add in courses or something like that and so here JavaScript 
So this gives us the ability to actually use functions to update our objects. So what happens here is I'm going to console log out that my object. And then over here is where I'm going to do F and I'm going to pass over and pass through that initial object that I set up. So my object, so pass through that into the function. And then I'm going to console log out that my object again. So what do you think is going to happen here when we're taking a look and we're looking at all of these values that we've set up? So we, we've set up an object here uh, with first name, last name, so one and two. And we're going to list out the object information. But then we've got a function here where we're passing through that entire object and we're taking that object, adding in courses, and then we're outputting that object again. So I know it sounds a little bit confusing there, but let's just see what happens as we output it. And we can see here that we were actually able to update our object with the course's JavaScript using functions. And there's definitely a really close relationship between constructing and working with objects and working with functions. So you get all of this really neat, I guess, functionality that you have when you've got an object and you can add to objects uh, using functions. Probably looking at this and thinking, okay, well, you know, he's been very careful not to reuse these variables. And this is true that I've been careful not to reuse these variables. And there is a reason for that because in the next lesson, I wanted to illustrate what we mean by function scope. So there is a difference between global values and we could have values contained only within the function. And I'm going to be showing you how all of this works in the upcoming lesson.